hi you're welcome to my channel my name is alice rita and today i'm going to show you how to draw a scale bar so i'm going to be showing you two steps and the first one is how to draw a scale bar on microscope images and the second is how to draw a scale bar on images captured with camera that is non not a microscope image in order to be able to draw the confocal to be able to draw scale bar on microscope images it's best to use the raw microscope image because this image files contains the metadata from the microscope and image is able to recognize that so if i want to draw a scale bar on this my micro on, my, on this my microscope image all i have to do is to go to analyze tools scale bar and the scale bar can as you can see here this very thick scale bar is showing that it's about excuse me let me start that all over put this towels okay so this is the confocal image i want to draw a scale bar on and i'm going to go to analyze tools scale bar and i'm going to draw a scale bar of 20 micron you can see the scale bar in black do not appear you can usually change the color using the color drop down box here so i'm going to draw a white scale bar on a gray image if you want to include the size in text you can untick the height text and you can see it's showing massively and that's because my font size is currently in 250 so now that i reduce the font size to 30 you can see the scale bar here and you can always ch change the position that you want your scale bar to be be it at the bottom of the sample or at the top and also you can define a location so how am i going to define a location if i want my scale bar to be here all i have to do is to draw with the line or any of the tool box so i want my scale bar to be here and i'll just go to analyze tools scale bar and you can see that image has drawn the scale bar at the exact location i wanted so i want a 10 micron scale bar a font size of 30 and this height of the pixel determines how thick or thin the the scale bar will be like so i'm going to untick this height text because i want image to show the text to show the size in text of the scale bar and remember you can always change the color so i want uh if i want a yellow scale bar and if, if you want this the scale bar to be in bold font you can always decide on that and also you can you can see that when i take the serif font it also changed the font type but normally i prefer the default scale bar if you want your scale bar to have a background you can decide to pick whatever background you want it to be and I'm going to be leaving this without any shading and I'll click OK and that is my scale bar even if you crop this image image will still remember the metadata so I'm going to crop this and I'm going to redraw the scale bar so that you can see that even if I crop it the image has not lost the information of what the scale bar should be you can see that And decide to make this a 15 micron at the lower left and I want it to be in yellow white is beautiful so let me choose white okay so you can see that the raw image and the cropped one the metadata is still recognized by image j what about an image that is not from the microscope 
how do you draw scale bar on such image remember that whenever you whenever you are acquiring an image that you will wish to work with later it's always best to draw a scale bar before you capture the image with your camera so here it's my here is my sample and i've used a ruler the measuring ruler and a pen to draw a five centimeter scale bar on this leaf infection image and this the reason why this scale here is there is because i'm going to then use it to calibrate my image and the only the way i can do that is to draw a straight line on the let me zoom this in so you can see this better the way i can do that is to draw a straight line on the scale bar that i drew with a pen and a ruler and then i'm going to go to analyze and set scale image has calculated that this straight line contains 16 1608 pixels and the distance is a five centimeter if you don't if you you cannot calibrate an image if you don't know the distance of the scale bar that you've drawn so that's why in order for me not to forget i always write the scale bar at the bottom after drawing with a ruler so it's a five centimeter and the unit is centimeter if the units of this scale that i drew was inches i will just type into this box that it's in inches however this is in centimeter so i'm ticking the centimeter do not tick the global uh, box except if all the images you're going to be working with as the same calibration then that's fine so i will leave this as it is and just click ok and now i'm going to because we've calibrated this image i can then decide that i want to draw a scale bar somewhere around here and if i go to analyze tools scale bar you can see that that's not showing very well because it's in a white text so i'm going to draw that in black you can see that image has drawn the scale bar in centimeter and if i want it to be five this scale bar looks really thin so i'm going to increase the the thickness just increase that to 80 and the font even at the size of 112 it still look really really tiny so i'm going to increase that to about 200 and if i want this font to be in bold i just have to tick here and then i click ok as you can see drawing a scale bar on microscope on camera on image captured with camera or image from the microscope is as simple as abc so if you want to draw your scale bar remember to always use the raw image from your microscope so that you are not drawing because if you use a jpeg or tiff image it's going to show you the scale bar in pixels instead of in the right information because that's lost some of them it would have lost some of the metadata from the microscope and the one from the camera remember that if you are capturing your leaf sample or any sample that requires you to use a camera remember to always use a ruler to place a ruler beside your image if you found this tutorial useful please remember to subscribe to my channel and if you need me to assist you with any kind of analysis i'm always happy to help just drop me a message either in my email you can check get my email from my channel information or you can just leave your information or you can leave your request in the comment section and until next time bye